Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing an OBS tutorial on how to add lower thirds using OBS to Google Hangouts. Stay tuned for more information. If you're using Google Hangouts to stream by yourself, it is great. However, if you decide to have a panel or invite people on the panel, things can get a wee bit confusing. People will be asking in chat, who is that on the panel? Now, if you have a very active channel and you have a lot of people in your chat, you're going to have to repeatedly remind people who is on your panel and things can get a little bit confusing. Now, in the past, all you had to do was get Hangout Toolbox. This was an add-on from within Google Hangouts itself. It was easily customizable, and you could also add your own graphic if you didn't want to go with a stock graphic. So that way, when you get on a panel and you started to speak, you would see yourself with a banner, as you can see here. And you could change the color, and you could also change the text to anything that you would want. So you get more visibility and you're easily seen by everyone and there's no confusion. Everyone knows who you are. Now Google and in their infinite wisdom, same thing as YouTube, decided to do away with the feature that the users like the most. Now if you want something that works, something that's flawless, something that's easily customizable, why not do away with it? Why not take it away from us YouTube users? Well, there is an alternative to this, and I'm going to show you that alternative using OBS. Now, to find this alternative, all you have to do is use your favorite search engine, such as Google. You want to look for OBS Virtual Camera, as you can see here. You should find a link that says obsproject.com. This is where you want to go. You want OBS Virtual Cam 1.21. As of this video, that's a current release. You want to go to GitHub release as seen here highlighted by the arrow. You want to use the installer.exe file and you want to save this to your computer. The next step is find the installer on your file and obviously you want to click setup. And it will ask you if you want to run this. You want to run it in administrator mode, if at all possible. And you have to click on the accept the agreement and then click on the next button. This will install the program for you. The next thing you want to do is open up OBS and you want to use your lower third or your graphic that you had just made. But you do not want to put it in the center of the screen on the bottom because you won't be able to see your mute button for your microphone or for your camera. The next thing you want to do is click on the tools tab and then you want to select virtual cam which is down below and that will bring up your options for your virtual cam. Now once you have virtual cam open you can leave everything at the default values if you wish or you can change them and simply click the start button and then minimize OBS to the taskbar and then you want to open up Google Hangouts page. Now you want to go into Google Hangouts and you want to click on the video call button as you see here highlighted by the blue arrow. When you do this Google will tell you you need to invite people. Don't worry about this simply click the close button and close this out and then you're going to click on the little gear icon at the top highlighted by the blue arrow as you can see here you're going to select OBS camera as you can see it's the second option here and it will give you a video preview in the background like you can see now if your image is reversed or your lower third or your graphic is reversed like you see here you simply go into OBS and check off the little checkbox that says horizontal flip now when you go back you can see that everything is in order and it's where it's supposed to be now, once everything's set up and working, you can go ahead and do a test call. Again, if the icon's reversed, as you can see here, then you will have to go back into your settings and you will have to correct them so it looks like this. This is the end of the video, and I hope this has helped somebody out. I welcome any comments or suggestions, and this will be an ongoing series for OBS tutorials. Again, if you haven't liked and subscribed, I encourage you to do so, and thank you for watching.